Okay, hi you guys. I feel like this is like lopsided. I really hope not. But and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, we gotta move this. I am going to be talking to you guys. So this video is about what I'm gonna be reading during the month of December. I do have finals next week, so I guarantee it. So in this next week, I don't know how much I will be reading, but afterwards, I don't have much to do except work. So, and I work from home. So I wanna continue my reading journey and hopefully add these seven books, I think. Yeah, I wanna add these seven books to my red pile. My goal this year is 50 books. I'm definitely not gonna get to it, but, but that's okay. Sometimes you don't get to it and that's, Totally fine. College is hard to kind of dictate when to read and how much I can read and I never really know what my schedule is going to bring and what my class workload really looks like so that's okay. I'm totally fine with it. But without further ado, let's get started with what I'm going to read this December. Okay, so the first book that I'm going to finish reading is Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. Now this book is kind of a grumpy sunshine rope and basically it's about Eve Brown who is told by her parents that she needs to secure a job for an entire year to then get her allowance back in check. So she goes out to a separate little town nearby and meets the innkeeper Jack Jacob and he's the grump she's the sunshine it's really really cute I'm about 80% of the way through so I hopefully will finish it this week and yeah this is the very first book that I will be finishing in the month of December I know it's like December 6th or whatever but it's been hard with finals and then also kind of everything else going on in my life but yeah this is the very first book that will be getting finished this week I'm gonna put it into the air okay the very next book I'm going to be reading is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I've heard literally so many things about this book. I watch so many booktubers like Sarah Caroli, Destiny Sidwell, Haley Pham, Steph Bohr, Larry Reads. I just watch them all and I swear this book has been coming up non-stop the past year, if not two years, I don't know. But I believe this is a trilogy. Yeah, The Ballad of Never After and A Curse for True Love. And I'm just gonna read you like the synopsis of what it says because I'm not good at summing up books that I really don't know much about. Okay, Evangeline Fox has always believed in true love and happy endings until she learns that the love of her life will marry another. Desperate to stop the wedding, Evangeline strikes a deal with the charismatic immortal Prince of Hearts, but she soon discovers that bargaining with the Prince of Hearts is a dangerous game. He has plans for Evangeline, plans that will either end in the greatest happily ever after or the most exquisite tragedy. So it sounds amazing. It's a trilogy. I want to get it started. I feel like it kind of embodies winter. I don't know. Maybe it's the dark cover and I know there are other covers that are like pink, but I'm just feeling winter for this book. So I'm going to read it in December. Okay. Oh, what's wrong with my hair? I like fluffed it over, but I don't know. It's that type of, it's that type of hair day. The next book I want to read is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Salinger? Salinger? I don't know. This is a classic though. I'm sure you guys have heard of it or at least have seen it before. This is a small version and I've had this since my sophomore year in high school. So I just need to read it and I'm trying to get through all the classics on my shelf and then hopefully I just want to make it through the classics at Barnes at some point in my life. So I need to start reading more classics and this is definitely going to be read in December. I started reading it a long time ago and I remember it being about maybe a teenage boy, a college boy. I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like you read this in school and I just never did. So like in high school. But yeah, this will be on my book, on my TBR shelf for this month. And I'm excited to just know more about it because I really don't have any idea what it's about and it has nothing it has no synopsis so I can't really even tell you so guess you can look it up if you really want okay again I've had this book forever this is Alex and Eliza it says a love story so Alex and Eliza by Melissa de la Cruz this is the story of Alexander Hamilton and Eliza Schuyler's love story so I don't want to read more about this either I have listened to the Hamilton soundtrack over a hundred times and I love it with all my heart so I'm excited to see how their love story is depicted in this book versus in Hamilton. I've never seen Hamilton but the soundtrack I love it. I need to read this so this one is high up on my list and I've read probably 30% of the way and I never finished it so I'm excited to get back into this book because I really don't remember what it was like before. Okay the very last book that I'm going to read for the month of December is The Final Gambit and this is the third book 
the Inheritance Games trilogy, and this is the third and final book in the Inheritance Games trilogy. I know that there is another book, but I don't think it's a part of this trilogy. I think it's like, I don't know, actually it could be a part of it and it could be a series, but there is another book called The Brothers Hawthorne I will have to get my hands on after, but this is the next book in the series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. If you don't know what the Inheritance Games is about, it is about um, Avery Graham's she is a teenager and she gets told that she is now the owner of this estate and of all of this money left from this millionaire's will. Am I saying that right? I think so. But in that book, there is romance, there is mystery, you're trying to figure out how, why, what went wrong, like did something go wrong, why has she left the money and not the grandsons that she's trying to work with to figure out this problem. It's extremely interesting, it's also very fast paced and I loved the first two books. So when I went with my mom Black Friday shopping, I got a couple books for Christmas and I was like I really want to keep one so I picked this one to keep because I really do need to finish all the series that I'm in the middle of but that's one of my... That's one of my major flaws, I would say, is not being able to finish a series. So it takes me like years. But I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this book done by December for sure. Okay, but that is the end of my what I'm going to read in December video. Um, um I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved filming it and reading is such a prominent part of my life, as you can probably tell with my bookshelf. But it's just something that I adore doing. I do it on all my free time every night if possible and I'd love to share more about my favorite books, what I plan to read, like a bookshelf tour maybe, if that's something you guys would be interested in watching. Again, it's such a big part of my life so I'll probably continue making videos like this, especially during Vlogmas, but if you want to see anything in particular, please leave a comment down below and I can hopefully get something done in December because again, finals will be over with in a week and that's it's just what it is. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see next in the comments so I can add that into my schedule. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry this is such a short little video, but I gotta get to reading, you know? Okay, peace. Mm -hmm.